Hello viewers, today I am going to talk about Sul Tal, which is also known as Shul Tal. Sul Tal is one of the Tals of Hindustani music which are played on Pakhavaj. My today's lecture will include theoretical as well as practical aspect of Sul Tal with its Tegun and Chogun Laikaris. Before explaining this Tal of Hindustani music, I would like to tell the viewers that in my previous series of lectures on Tal, I had explained the term Tal and Laikaris. If the viewers want to know in detail about these terms, it is highly recommended to go through my previous lecture on Teen Tal and its Dugan and Chogun Laikaris. In my this lecture, I will like to brief about Tal. Tal or rhythmic cycle is an Indian system of rhythm. Lay or rhythm is the basic tempo which is set by the performer for singing or playing any musical composition. When lay or musical time is fixed in matras that is beats, it is known as tal or we can say Tal is a cycle of the fixed number of matras or beats repeated over and over again till the composition is completed. Teen Tal, Ek Tal, Jhap Tal, Rupak Tal, Kehrwa Tal, etc. These are the most common Tals of Hindustani music which are played on Tabla. There are some Tals which are usually played on Pakhavaj instrument with the singing styles like dhrupa, dhamar, etc. Sultal is one of such tal which is usually played on pakhavaj, but nowadays it is played on tabla also. So in my this lecture, I am going to explain sultal theoretically and practically along with its tegon and chogon lekaris. Sultal, also known as Shul Tal or Sul Fak Tal, is a tal of 10 beats, which is also played on Pakhavaj for the accompaniment of classical singing styles called Sadra, which is of Drupad family. It is also used to accompany Drupad compositions and the old group of stringed instruments like Veena, Rabab, Sursingar and Surbahar. This tal is played in Vilambit and Madhyale that is slow and medium tempo. Nowadays, this sadra style of singing is not popular among the musician and hence this tal is also not so common among the performers. Usually, the 10 beats of Sul tal are grouped in 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 beats. That means in this tal there are 5 vibhags having 2 beats each. But there are disagreements concerning the number of beats, its vibhags, structure and hence the symbol of tal too. Some musicians consider this tal of 5 beats instead of 10 beats and some other view it of 10 beats but with the three vibhags of four to four beats. But a common version of Sul Tal is that this Tal is of ten beats with the five vibhags of two beats each. In this version, there are three Talis and two Khalis. In this Tal, the first beat is symbolized by sum, that is the first Tali of the Tal, and the second and third talis are on the fifth and the seventh beats and the khalis are on the third and ninth beat. Generally, the take of sul tal is considered like this. Dha dha dhenta keta dha teta kata gade gana. This is a tal of pakhavaj, hence its bowl are of pakhavaj which are different than those of tabla bowls 
and are known as Kulebol. Sultal or Shultal is a tal of Vilambit and Madhyale that is slow and medium tempo and is never played in Drutle that is fast tempo. You can see Sultal written in the script in its complete form that is showing some Tali and Khali. Now I will demonstrate before you how to recite Sultal and counting matras and showing some tali and khali by hands. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, dha, dha, den, ta, ket, dha, tet, kat, gade, gan, dha. Sultal is a tal usually played on pakhavaj, but nowadays it is played on tabla also. Now you will listen the practical performance of sultal on tabla. As I have indicated before that in Hindustani music there is another tal having 10 beats and that is Jhap tal. But Jhap tal is a tal of tabla and its structure is totally different than Sul tal. It is played with khyal compositions of singing and sometimes it is played with guts in Jhap tal. But Sul tal is a tal of pakhavaj and hence it is played with khule bol, mostly with sadra composition. Sultal is rarely selected for solo performance, whereas Jhaptal is often selected for solo performance by tabla players. Now let's ahead towards the second part of the lecture, which is about Tegon and Chogul Laikaris of Sultal. But first, let me tell you what is Laikari? The word Laikari is derived from the word Lay. Lay is the basic rhythm or tempo which is set by the performer for singing or playing any musical composition. Laikari is the ability to manipulate the notes according to Lay or rhythm. This Lay can be double, triple or up to eight times faster of the original or the basic lay which is set by the performer. When lay is doubled, it is known as dugun. Or we can say dugun is the double of the original lay. Similarly, when lay is tripled, it is called tigun. Or when lay becomes four times faster of the original or the basic lay, it is known as Chogun. Dugun, Tigun and Chogun etc. These are called the different Laikaris of Tal. These Laikaris can be better understood in a simple way that the time consumed for one bowl or syllable in one beat in the basic lay is the same for the two bowls in Dugun, for three bowls in Tigun and for four bowls in chogun lekaris. Let me demonstrate it. One, two, three, four. This is the basic lay. Now for dugun, I will recite two digits or two bowls in one beat like one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. For Tigun, I will recite three bowls in one beat. 
1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Similarly, I will recite 4 bows in 1 beat for Chogul Laikari like 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Let me demonstrate Dugun, Tigun and Chogun Laikari simultaneously. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Now, for demonstrating Tegun and Chogun Laikaris of Sultal, I will also demonstrate its Dugun for the better understanding of students. First, the Theka of Sulta in single, and then I will demonstrate the Dugun of Sultal. Dha, Dha, Den, Ta, Ket, Dha, Tet, Kat, Gadi, Gan. Dha dha den ta kit dha tit kat gadi gan dha dha den ta kit dha tit kat gadi gan dha. In Dugun, you must have noticed that the Dugun consumes half of the time as it takes in single lay. Or we can say that in the same time, take off tal is repeated two times. Now you notice it in Tegon and Chogun Laikaris of Sultan. Sultan Tegun Lai. Ta ta din ta kit ta tit kata gadi gan ta ta din ta kit ta tit kata gadi gan ta ta din ta kit ta tit kata gadi gan. In Tegun Laikari, it consumes one third time, and in Chogun Laikari, it consumes one fourth time. Or we can say otherwise that in Tegun the take of Tal is repeated three times, and in Chogun the take of Tal is repeated four times because of the three and four times faster lay of the basic or the original lay. See single Dugun and Chogun of Sultal. Dha, Dha, Den, Ta. Ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi. Dha dha den ta, ket dha, tet kat gadi gan. Dha. As I have said earlier, Sultal is a Tal usually played on Pakhavaj, but nowadays it is played on Tabla also. Now you listen Sultal on Tabla with its Dugun, Tegun and Chogun Laikaris.
proceed towards the writing of these various lakaris of Sultal. For writing of Tal in single unit called Tha, first of all we will have to write the total matras or beats of Tal in digital numbers. Then to divide the total beats into the small sections or groups called Vibhags. The most important part for writing any Laikari is to write the bowls of Tal which in complete form is called the Theka of Tal. Last but not the least step to write any Tal is to put Tal Chin that is symbols of rhythmic cycle. The three important beats of any Tal are Sam, Tali and Khali. You can see in the script Theka of Sul Tal written in its complete form that is showing the matras, bowl and talchin of some tali and khali. It is not irrelevant to mention that for writing any tal with its lekaris like dugun, tigun and chogun, Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhande's notation system has been adopted because this notation system has become the medium of instruction in institutional music education in almost all over India. After writing the Thik of Sultal, the next step is how to write Tigun and Chugun Laikaris of Tal. Writing Tigun Laikari of Sultal. As I have said and demonstrated before, Dugun is the double of the basic leg. Now for writing Dugun of any Tal, two bowls or the syllables of Tal are combined together in each beat by putting the symbol of an Earth Chandra, a half moon like figure beneath two bowls. And for writing Tigun of Tal, three bowls are combined together in each beat while doing so. The complete theka of tal will be repeated two times in dugun and three times in tigun. You can see tigun of sultal written in the script. It is very important to mention here again while writing tigun or triple of any tal only the theka of tal will be written three times, combining three bowls of tal in each beat, whereas matras and tal chin will be written one time only. The next is how to write chogun of sul tal. As I have said, chogun is four times faster of the basic lay. For writing chogun laikari of tal, method is the same. The symbol for writing Chogun Lekari is the same, that is an Ardha Chandra, a half moon like figure for combining four bowls together in one beat in Chogun. You can see Chogun of Sultal written in the script. You must have noticed while writing the Chogun Laikari, Theka of Tal is repeated four times. It is not irrelevant to mention here once again that only the bowls of Tal are repeated four times in Chogun Laikari. Matras and Tal Chin are written one time only. While practicing by hand or playing on Tabla, Dugun, Tigun and Chogun Laikaris consume the same time as it takes in single lay. Thus following these steps, students of music can recite and write Dugun, Chogun or any other Laikari of Tal very easily and quickly. To sum up, we can say that Sul Tal is a Tal of Pakhavaj, but nowadays it is also played on Tabla. It is not so frequently used tal in Hindustani music, especially for solo performance. Laikaris of any tal are very interesting 
and astonishing part of Thal. It is both ways interesting to write the Laikari and to do it practically. Once the students understand the method of doing it, they start practicing and writing these Laikaris from the very early stage of music learning. It is so easy and interesting that even the beginner students can follow this system of writing the Laikaris as well as performing the Laikaris very quickly. Thus, we can say that Tal and Laikaris of Tal help the students in developing their interest in the subject. Not only this, the students ultimately develop the habit of keeping good command over lay or rhythm while singing or playing. Thank you.